am not doing this video again. But week eight is underway. Let's get started, because I don't have time for this bullshit. Packers going on the road to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Packers uh, pick the Packers uh, shut down C.J. Stroud. Road yet the Packers uh, only were. It took a game-winning field goal by new kicker Brandon McManus, and now he gets to face his former team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. How special! Uh, and the but the bottom line is the Packers beat beat a red-hot Houston Texans team. So a lot, so there's a lot, and there's going to be a lot of concern about will this be a trap game for the Packers, and how will, and will will the Packers have a letdown, a ma a major letdown against against lowly Jacksonville, and uh, yeah, and uh, wow, ja and the, wow, the Jacksonville Jaguars beat a team that they were supposed to beat, the New England Patriots. Patriots. Uh, an awful garbage football team. I guess that's more than what the Bengals could do. Just saying. Uh, and, um, with that being said, I got to take the Packers to win this one. I don't think that. I, I honestly don't think that there's going to be any. I don't think there's any going to be any letdown for this one. Next up, the Cardinals going on the road to take on the Miami Dolphins. Um. Tua Tonga Bailoa is is going to return. It's been a while. It's it's been since the Thursday night game, and last time he played, I don't want to sound insensitive, but before the concussion, he didn't he did not play he did not play well. In fact, you could argue that he was the reason why the Miami Dolphins lost to the Buffalo Bills. Um, and the Cardinals just got done beating. Beating the Los Angeles Chargers, uh, fair and square. By the way, that wait more on that later. Here. but with that being said, I gotta take the. I gotta take the. I, I'm actually gonna take the. This might surprise some people, but I might. I'm actually gonna take the Cardinals to win here because because I don't think the Dolphins' uh, the situation is. is is all of a sudden fixed just because Tua Tungavailoa is back. I don't know how many, I don't know how effective Tua is going to be. He's going to be a little bit rusty. And that's all I've got to say about that. That. Next up, Jets going on the road to take on the Patriots. Oh boy. Jets, you go up 15-6, I believe, and then you give up 31 unanswered points. I'm surprised. I'm, su I'm surprised the Pittsburgh Steelers actually couldn't act didn't actually try to to experiment against the Jets like they normally do when they face when they play down their competition. And you got the Patriots. Your team's a joke. The Patriots are a joke. Um if the Jets don't if the Jets don't beat the Patriots, then I'm going to then I then I then I'm going to have to admit that the Jets firing Robert Sala was a mis what is 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 a big fucking mistake, and I need and I need to apologize so bad, dearly, because <laughs> yeah, take the Jets to defeat the Patriots. Uh, Ravens going on the road to take on the Cleveland Browns, and Deshaun Watson is is done for the season for the second consecutive year. Here. Last year he broke his shoulder. This year he tore, he ruptured his Achilles. And yes, I saw the replay. It was very disgusting. I'm not surprised though that the fa that that fans on the internet and and the few Cleveland fa Browns fans that fans that were in attendance were were celebrating Deshaun Watson's injury. Three. I mean, I get it. There's, I get it. Deshaun Watson was kind of fucking stupid a couple years ago, even though. And I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to because I don't want to because I don't want uh, people coming after me for no fucking reason whatsoever. Even though what I say will be would be the truth. But in any event, stupid phone going off. There we go. That'll stop that. Anyway, 
A anyway, so Jameis Winston's going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, and I got to be honest with you, one of these one-win teams is going to have to get a victory at some point. Point. There's like what one. There, there's like what one, and then two, three. Yeah, there's four teams that have that have only one victory so far. Far. And your and this could be a trap game for the Baltimore Ravens fans. I mean, they blew out Tampa Bay. Even though the last few minutes they, even though the last few minutes they made it, they made it harder than it needed to be. Quite frankly, but it, it, that's the way that cookie crumbles I suppose but but back to the Browns Deshaun Watson should have been benched like weeks ago no I mean he, he he kept playing like shit and I know he played okay against the against the the, the Bengals but there is but there is such a thing as too little too late I mean if you're going to be controversial, here's the thing. If you're going to be controversial, so that's one thing. The problem is, you still have to be good. And the problem is that Deshaun Watson hasn't, by, 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 bottom line, hasn't played well since he went to Cleveland. I mean, you could blame, I mean, listen, to, and listen, you can blame Deshaun all you want, but, you know, he's still going to get paid. Paid. You could cheer to Sean Watson all you want. He's still going to get paid. Paid. Hell, Jimmy Haslam does deserve some blame for, for, for making that deal. Deal in the first place. But if Baker Mayfield didn't cry like a fucking bitch, Jimmy Haslam would not have made that, would not have made an offer that Deshaun Watson ended up not being able to refuse to begin with. With. So, so you gotta keep that in mind too. Too. I understand Baker barf bags are, are barf bags are still uh, crying about about what could have been for the for if he stayed in Cleveland and all this retarded bullshit. But fuck you, you. And I, and if you think it, and if you think I'm defending Deshaun Watson in any way, shape, or form, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But in any event, Jameis Luston's going to be the starting quarterback. Oh, the Browns need to win badly. And I, I do believe one of these four one-win teams is going to get a victory. Victory. It could be two one-win teams. But I do think the Browns, and I think the Browns are going to be one of those teams. Teams, quite frankly. Next up, Bengals going traveling back home. No, wasn't that big of a travel, but they're traveling back home to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the Eagles, uh, preferably Saquon Barkley, uh, 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 got revenge on the uh, on the Giants. Uh, uh, Giants, uh, gee, I wonder what the Giants did to piss him off, other than the fact that they chose uh, Daniel Jones over fucking Saquon to begin with. With, I mean, Daniel Jones sucks. I mean, people need to get. People really, really, really need to get over that fact. And the Bengals, they're starting to hit their stride. They need a home win in the worst way. So, take the Bengals to defeat the Eagles. And Eagles are, I know they I know they pulled off that impressive victory, but they're still not all that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Colts going on the road to take on the Houston Texans. Colts, why did you let Anthony Richardson start? He's not your... It's clear as day that Anthony Richardson is not the best quarterback on that fucking team right now. It's clearly Joe Flacco. This is what happens when you don't have preseason competition. And that's the problem with the Colts. They they didn't hold any a quarterback competition at all. They just let Anthony Richardson be the starting quarterback, even though he didn't really earn it. And, and that's the thing. It's, and that's the thing. you got to... That's the thing. you got to make these... Rookie quarterbacks, these young quarterbacks, earn earn the starting job. And Anthony Richardson, so far, even though he's not a rookie quarterback, hasn't earned it. I mean, the, the Colts beat the Dolphins. It's, that's great because the Dolphins had a had a have had another 
have had their own issues of, of quarterback blunders. Hurts. And now you're facing the Houston Texans, who are a little bit, who are, who are going to be motivated to, 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 to get a victory and get back on the winning side of things. Things. Normally, the, normally two teams, normally these two teams uh, would, would split against each other with the road team winning, although it, it, I mean, it happened last year at least. I don't see that happening this year. Take the Texans to bring the brooms and sweep the Indianapolis Colts. Colts. Uh, Titans. Lions traveling back home to take on the tanking Tennessee Titans. Ends. In case you've been living under a rock, DeAndre Hopkins is gone. And another starter, I think Ernest Jones, I believe is his name. Name, I think he's gone too, even though Ernest Jones... It, it, it's just some uh, cor it's just some corner. Uh, the big loss what is DeAndre Ho Hopkins though, because he might not be on. He might not have uh, he might not be as good as he used to be. But with the right team and with an actual fucking quarterback, that shit that 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 shit might actually change. And like, and like I said earlier, one. At least one one team with the with with a single victory might might be able to get their second victory of the season. The Titans are not one of them. I understand. I understand the Lions uh, lost to Jamison Williams for two for two games due to some suspension. But the Giants, but the but the Lions are still going to be are, are still going to be fine. Fine, it, it, as was proven la last week when they when they beat the Minnesota Vikings. Kings. Uh, yeah. So unless so unless any bullshit happens, that shouldn't happen. Lions. End of story. Moving the fuck on. Falcons going on the road to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh boy. Hey. Like, uh. Yeah. The Buccaneers had a rough week because Todd Bowles is a complete fucking moron. On did, did he take? Did he take a one? I hope the I hope the snow globe water really hit the spot for Todd Bowles because he is going to be scrutinized for that for the decision to keep to to put Mike Evans out when he wasn't ready to fucking go to begin with and leaving Chris Godwin in there leaving your starters in there period despite the fact that your team is despite the fact that the game was already out of reach. Great fucking job! And now Baker barf bags are gonna be are gonna be are gonna be wondering whether or not are gonna be wondering whether or not Baker Mayfield will once again remind everybody why critics have called him Baker Midfield. It's a good thing the Buccaneers have a running game, but here's my question. That were the was Mike Evans and Chris Godwin were Mike Evans and Chris Godwin the reason why the running game was good? I don't think so. So, but but the set but that's where the second question lies. But that's where the other question lies. Was it the running game that that was it that was the reason why the passing game was starting to starting to show up? And the Falcons. Ugh. Really, Atlanta. Now you want to lay eggs, legs, especially in the second half. You got, you got, you got it up to seventeen to fourteen, but unfortunately, that was the closest you would get. Because this is an important game, first place is on the line. I got a flip for this one. Atlanta tails. Okay, fine. Take the Falcons to sweep the Buccaneers, and that's all I've got to say about that. If I'm wrong, so be it. It the Buccaneers, they still have K dot in that tight end. Let's see how the run and, and uh, let's see how the running game goes. Goes. Uh, all right, Saints going on the road to take on the Los Angeles Chargers in the in the late afternoon window. Oh, oh God, Saints, you suck. I'm sorry. I, 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 I uh, yeah, and I, and I, and I'm not surprised that the. the, the the Saints didn't fire Dennis Allen, and quite frankly, look. At, uh, and quite frankly, I'm not sure they're going to fire Dennis Allen. If they, if they, do, if 
The person who needs to, who does need to be fired, heard and heard, is is Mickey fucking Loomis. But but the Saints are just uh, a mess, and, and and because of that, again, unless bullshit retardation happens, Chargers. End of story. All right, I understand the Chargers lo lost to the Cardinals, and they deserved to lose to the Cardinals. Like I said. Like I said, you could blame that stupid. You, you could blame the penalty all you want, but you you didn't score touchdowns. And by the way, oh, and and I hate to break it to the few Chargers fans that that were bitching and complaining about that penalty penalty at the end. The call was correct, but in any event, Chargers. End of story. Moving the fuck on. Bills going on the road to take on the Seattle Seahawks. This is. This is, an, this is an underrated game. This might actually be a good game. Uh, the last time these two teams met was uh, during COVID season, and it was Russell Wilson's uh, second to final season with the Seattle Seahawks. And, it was, and, and Russell Wilson was on his way to being an MVP candidate, and then the Buffalo Bills happened. But this has nothing to do with today, of course. Uh, meanwhile, the Buffalo Bills uh, get... Uh, yeah, they were sure they were down ten to nothing with against the Tennessee Titans, but the, but they scored thirty four unanswered points. Points. And as an aside, can Titans fans finally shut the fuck up uh, and stop overrating their team? Yes, Will Levis sucks dicks for breakfast. Fist. But guess what? It wasn't like Mason Rudolph off wasn't that was that much fucking better. Or who cares? You would have gotten. The Titans would have gotten up ten to nothing against the Buffalo Bills with Will Levis at quarterback. Fight me all you want, but that's the fucking truth. And as far as this game goes, I got flipped for this one too. God fucking damn it! Coin flip time, motherfuckers. Landed heads. Okay, fine. Take the Seahawks. Take the Seahawks out. I don't, I don't like Buffalo's chances on the road, road. Though some might call some might call the Seahawks home field advantage a tad bit overrated, and they did lose because they did lose the final two because they did lose the last two games at home, at home before beating before beating up on the Falcons on the road. Anyway, all right, second half of the national doubleheader on CBS. Bears take going on the road to take on the Washington Commanders. Will see will. Jaden Daniels play, cause, and holy shit, did they beat the ever-loving shit out of the Carolina Panthers? There's more on them later. Here, um, yeah, I, I, I just don't. Fuck, fuck, man, I, uh, I gotta take the Commanders. I, 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 don't, I don't think it matters who, who's the court, who the quarterback. You know what? Fuck it, uh, fuck it. Eberflus is two and zero after after a bye week. Make that three, make that three and zero, I guess. But this should be an exciting game, regardless. Take the Bears, I guess. That's and that's all I've got to say about that. All right, Chiefs going on the road to take on the Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> oh boy, the Raiders. Our our fucking our, our fucking joke. Uh, Anto Antonio Pierce, uh, very disappointed in this dude. Dude, he's just not he's he's not a head coach. It's coach. He might be he he'll it might be just a one and done uh, season full season for Antonio Pierce. Uh, so disappointing though because he because the team act was because after they fired McDaniel's they actually played a lot better. In fact, they beat the Chiefs on Christmas Day last year. Here, um, I don't think the Raiders are going to beat the Chiefs. Uh, at least, uh, at least not in Las Vegas. At least not in Las Vegas. I got. I'm sorry, sorry. But let's talk about the Chiefs. Chiefs. They've been having some injury problems. Patrick Mahomes has not been himself. Uh, his receipt His receivers keep getting injured and are. And uh, so they needed to make this move to get DeAndre Hopkins. Frankly, I th frankly the DeAndre Hopkins 
against uh, tr uh, uh, acquisition should have happened like a year ago or two or maybe even yeah a year ago at least um and he's a little bit and DeAndre's a little bit past his prime I kind of feel nothing about this but the reason why I'm taking the Chiefs is because of it's because of their improving defense and that's all I've got to say about that all right Panthers going on the road to take on the Denver Broncos Holy fucking shit! I am so glad I didn't take the Panthers to beat the Commanders because I would have made, I would have been made to look like a complete fucking idiot. Shit. Not that the other picks didn't make me look like an idiot, but you got my fucking point. Point. And the Broncos made me look because the Broncos did make me look like an idiot. Thank you, Denver. Thank you for uh, ruining my uh, my uh, weekend. And no, 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 no. Fuck that shit. Uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, though. Bo Nix still has issues, and that so there's your problem there. On the other hand, the Panthers. Andy Dalton will not be starting. He he got involved in a car accident, so we were so it was inevitable that Bryce Young will return as the start as the starting quarterback for the Panthers. Now I'm really concerned. Will the Broncos make Bryce Young look like Joe Montana? Or will Bryce Young still continue to be the struggling quarterback that he has always been? Fuck. This will be the first time I do this all season. I'll take the Denver Broncos, but uh, fuck me. The Panthers could be that other one-win team that gets its that gets its second victory of the season. Jesus fucking Christ, man! Ugh. Sunday night football: Cowboys going on the road to take on the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, the Cowboys lose inexcusably to the to the Detroit Lions. It's one thing it's one thing to lose. Okay, fine, but wow. You didn't even show the fuck up. You lose another... You lose yet another ridiculous home home game in blowout fucking fashion. Shit. You have lost your last four games dating back to last year's... Last season's divisional round against the Green Bay Packers. Which was also a blowout, by the way. Wait, proving that Dan... That Dan Quinn... And wasn't wasn't the reason why they lost. It's because the team is fucking garbage, and they're starting and it, and teams are just starting to figure out how garbage the Cowboys really are. And when you put that shit together, and and uh, and then you got the 49ers, who are also who have also been struggling as of late. Wait, they and it's it has not been a good week for wide for wide receivers. Godwin goes down. And Brandon Ayuk goes down, and I think I think even another wide receiver goes to, went down in Week Seven. Uh, I don't think any of these teams. I don't think I don't think the Cowboys, nor the 49ers, are playoff teams this year at this rate. Right? I think both teams will end up. I think both teams may end up finishing eight and nine, nine and nine and eight, somewhere around that range. However, I understand that the Niners are missing a few players, but uh, last I checked, so are the Cowboys. They might get a few players back, but, you know, who, who cares? Until the Cowboys prove they can beat the 49ers, there's no reason for me to pick the 49ers. To, to pick against the 49ers, excuse the fuck out of me. So, I got, I'll take the 49ers, in case you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> anyway, and then you've got the Monday night game. Steelers staying home. To take on the New York Giants, so they fit, so they so a home, so two home games against the Giants in back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, the the Jets could uh, the Steelers the Steelers couldn't really afford to experiment against the Jets because Russell Wilson because this was Russell Wilson's first game as a as a Pittsburgh Steelers starting quarterback. I think this time around the the Steelers might. Be a, might actually be able to experiment a, a little bit, bit which will make the game closer than it should. But 
ultimately, the Steelers will defeat the New York Giants because the Giants are fucking hor are fucking horrible. And oh, I mean, you don't have a fucking running game. Your defense is overrated. It is. I'm sorry. Go go, go fuck yourself if you disagree. Um, your quarterback obviously sucks. Your only good receiver is Malik Neighbors. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say about the. That's pretty much all I've got to say about the New York Giants. So that's why I'm taking the Steelers to win. So, so thank you very much for enduring this video. I know it's way too long as it is. Any pick changes I make will be in the description down below. Oh, let's see what happens when the chaos continues. Till next time, later, fuckers.